Well, I, I just know, like for myself, I've been I've been fighting this whole uh, discrimination thing for the like like I said for the last nine years with clawbacks that the, the province does for, for for what it calls unearned income. If you if you have a, a survivor's pension or any kind of pension, right, they claw it back as unearned. unearned. And basically, I think all the provinces are basically the same. Where the, the whole system is is very, it's it's systemic discrimination, right? It, it's it's there's other terms like legislated poverty. I mean, it's a conscious decision. It's a conscious decision to keep people to keep people in poverty and to keep people weakened and say, you know, you don't you don't matter and your your pension doesn't matter. So we can claw that back. And we can we can pervert the definition of a earned income privilege to an unearned privilege. And so all that kind of stuff, right? It's it's a very discriminatory action and. Like I said, I've been trying to fight this whole thing for for nine years myself, and so when I see that, like like I said, I just saw it a, a th- a three days ago, and I was I was like, wow, this is amazing, because the thing that bothers me so much is there doesn't seem to be enough recognition of how much the provinces get away with with perverting, like I said, perverting definitions of things and saying, well, this is no longer a pension, this, this is no longer protected income, and all that kind of stuff, right? They, they get away with a lot, and I, I, it just bugs me how much they get away with, right? And so I'm just hoping that somehow the, the, um, the hammer will fall even just a little bit to correct the situation, because it, it really is perverse now. The, the, the level of power that the provinces seem to get away with, it just really, really bothers me. It, it has, it's been bothering me for the last nine years, and to see this come out is like wow you know it's great (laughs) so I'm, i'm hopeful i don't know but i'm hopeful